This Saturday marks two years since the beginning of the war in Ukraine. But U.S. military aid for the country has stalled in Congress. With us now is Deputy Pentagon Press Secretary Sabrina Singh. Sabrina, thanks for being here. Tell us, how long can the U.S. military pull from its own budget to help Ukraine, and what are the consequences of doing so? Well, thanks so much for having me on today. Well, the problem is, is actually we can't pull from our own budget. Right now, we are completely handicapped on being able to provide any additional military aid to Ukraine since our supplemental funding ran out. And that's why we've requested that Congress pass this urgent supplemental request that did pass in the Senate, but is waiting passage in the House so that we can continue to flow these presidential drawdown authorities, which is literally pulling weapons and ammunition and equipment off of our shelves to Ukraine. But unfortunately, we haven't been able to provide anything since December 27th when our funding ran out uh, because we haven't been able to restock our own shelves. So what you're hearing and what you're seeing is a full court press from not just this building but across the administration to make sure that we can continue to provide not only aid to Ukraine uh, and continued security assistance to Israel and also, of course, bolstering um, our support in the Indo-Pacific as well. There are U.S. troops that are just over the border uh, in Poland. Um, there's obviously concerns about this war escalating. But how much is the lack of action from the U.S. in fact aiding Russia? Well, what you saw just this week is Ukraine making that strategic decision to withdraw from Avdivka to preserve some of their ammunition and artillery. Um, so those are just some of the consequences that we're seeing from congressional inaction. And that really is the, the, the blame should be placed there because we have not received our supplemental request that has been stalled in Congress that did pass the Senate with bipartisan support, but is, is stalled in the House. Um, so we really await that funding in order to continue to supply these, uh, what we call PDAs, to Ukraine. Um, we don't want to see more cities fall. We don't want to see Ukraine have to make these decisions uh, to preserve ammunition and artillery and therefore having to withdraw from some of their strongholds. Uh, look, this is a dynamic battle. They're still waging uh, successfully in the east and in the south. They're continuing to push the Russians back, but they're not going to be able to do that for long if they don't have what they need on the front lines. So it's up to us and, of course, our allies and partners who are incredibly grateful for their support. They're continuing to flow aid to Ukraine. We need to be able to do the same. So we've heard from some Republican lawmakers who are trying to convince their colleagues to support Ukraine aid. I'm, I'm looking at a quote from Senator Tom Tillis. Um, he, he really expressed concern that if the U.S. doesn't act and Russia is ultimately successful in taking Ukraine, that China will become emboldened on Taiwan. How concerned is the Pentagon about that type of a scenario? Yeah, we're incredibly concerned. This is a moment where our allies, and particularly our adversaries, are watching. They're watching what we do. They're watching will the United States stand with a sovereign country like Ukraine that was invaded by its neighbor, or will we turn our back? Will we let Ukraine languish and in this fight? And so we can't do that. We have to send a message to the world that the United States stands with democracies all around the world. Um, and so, our, of course, our allies and our adversaries are taking, are taking real note on what the United States does, what Congress does. And so we're going to continue to urge both publicly and privately that Congress does its job, gives us the supplemental funding that we need, passes a budget. As you know, we're also operating under a short-term CR. So we're also handicapped in what other programs, what other modernization efforts we can do at this moment because we don't actually have a budget still. Um, so we really need Congress to act right now, and, and that's why you're, you're seeing us make such a public and private push, uh, really urging uh, House Republicans to take up this supplemental and pass it. Sabrina Singh, Deputy Pentagon Press Secretary at the Pentagon there, we thank you. Thank you so much.